Hey everybody, hope you're all doing alright out there. So this is the culmination of about three years worth of research to try and find out how long do puncture repair rope plugs actually last in a motorcycle tyre. As I say, this started three years ago, so now I have some decent information and I can also show you what the plugs look like after this amount of time. You can see now there is a, and I'm side lighting this so it's a lot more prominent looking, there is a band on this tyre in the middle where it's flat spotted, I'm getting a little bit low on tread, so you know, these are going to have to go fairly soon. If you look in the description, there's some links to different videos over time of me fitting the different rope plugs, and you'll see it's quite funny actually the whole way this all came around. It's by happenstance, but because I've recorded all of it, I can now draw this conclusion. So if you don't know what these are, I suggest re-watching the original videos to get up to speed. If you do know what these are, then you'll understand from this point. So this is a rope repair kit. It's for fixing punches in tires. If you want to see how they're used, as I say, watch that video. This set was bought from Amazon, and it doesn't come with anything else other than this and a knife to cut the ropes. Lots of people said you want to use extra um, like rubber cement with those. I've done a bit of research into that, and basically, if it's supplied with it, then yes, do use it. If it's not supplied with it, you may not want to use it. Uh, there is something in these that, I believe, some sort of glue, which will actually help make this last. And they do last, as I will explain now. So, the bike that this is on is a 2010 Yamaha XJ6 Diversion. The tyres themselves are Dunlop Sports Maxes, which I fitted in March 2021, when the bike had 51,912 miles odd. Today, nearly three years on, we have 59,480 miles on the bike. So, so far, this tyre has done 7,568 odd miles, which is pretty damn good, actually. The first puncture I got at 52,700, so 51,900 to 52,700 is barely 800 miles when I got the first puncture. Uh, and that was not a huge amount of time after putting the tyres on the bike. Now, where is the first plug? There it is. So this little smudge here is the first rope plug. As I say, this was fitted into the tire when it was 800 miles old, roughly. Uh, and you can see why I wanted to plug repair it, because it was a brand new tire and it was slap bang in the middle where you want to do rope repairs. You do not want to do them on sidewalls and you don't really want to do them too far over here. I believe it's not a great idea. And I wouldn't suggest doing rope plugs on the front tire at all. This is a rear tire. If it comes to a front wheel, that's a lot more risky. But anyway, this plug has been in this tyre for 6,780 miles, and as you can see, well, you can't, it's just a smudge. You can't really feel it. It's held air perfectly. I've never had an air leak problem with this tyre uh, since these were fitted. So the first video was me fitting this. The second video was me showing what it looked like after a couple of thousand miles or something. And in that video, I found another nail in my tyre. I haven't looked yet, before you ask. So I had to do a second plug at that point. So if we look for that, that should be a lot easier to find. It's in a tread. Where are you? There it is. So this plug, which you can see is down in a tread and it is, I haven't been able to cut it flush or anything, but it's completely flush across here. And it just, you know, it's just a hard squidgy-ish piece of rubber. That's been in there for 4,730 miles. And again, hasn't leaked anything. Now I am at no point suggesting you should go against the manufacturer's recommendations and I'm also not suggesting you should do anything I've said in this video. What I do is my thing, your risks are your risks, I take no responsibility for what you do, but I did want to answer the question for myself of how long do these rope plugs last and are they something you could leave for a while? I can say 6,800 odd miles of the 7,500 miles that this tyre's done, that plug has been there and it's never caused me a problem. And I do ride this bike quick. And obviously the other one's an ideal placement. This is not ideal placement, although it's still in an area I would be happy to repair. Um, and I say, yeah, that's done like nearly 5,000 miles. And again, even though it's hanging out, that's the way it was cut flush. It's basically just squidged in and, and not changed. And again, no air loss. So, can you use rope plugs permanently? No, you shouldn't because the manufacturers don't recommend that you do unless they, you can find one that recommends that you can use them for the life of the tyre. However, as I say, on this one case example, it seems like they're not a problem as long as they're fitted correctly. You know, when I first fitted these, I did have quite a lot of people saying, that's gonna fly out after about two minutes. 
this, that, and the other. I think those people just hadn't fitted them correctly. If you fit the rope plugs properly, with the way that the manufacturer says you should, they should last a long time, if not the length of the tire. Oh, I've just checked the wheel over and I can't see any new nails or screws or anything. What's that? Oh, it's just a dusty mark, thank God. <laughs> So it seems like, touch wood, I've been quite lucky in recent times with not picking up screws or nails. And yeah, those are my results with rope plugs. Do they last? Yeah, they kind of do. If you found this video interesting or useful, hit the like button, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you are new here, and if you want to help support this channel, then please consider doing that through Patreon, links in the description. Also, I currently have a merch drop going on, so if you check out the Etsy link in the pinned comment, I've got stickers and keychains and a couple of calendars left. I am planning to get a few more calendars done, but the printer's printer is just broken, so uh, this could be the last three. I don't know. Anyway, as I say, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.